What is the secret of a long and healthy life? Could the secret of a healthy life lie in our lives when we are young, even before we are born, affecting our whole life course? From the moment of fertilisation, the unique set of genes inherited from parents are influenced by the environment, mother's lifestyle and health. The choices you make can change your genes and those of your kids. This, of course, affects generation after generation after generation. Southampton is really putting a new approach to this problem uh, of lifestyle and later disease uh, on the map. I would argue that the main challenges for young people are access to places like this because they've been closed off. Life Lab is a really pioneering uh, project that we set up in conjunction with the city of Southampton, and the schools in the city, the university of course, and also the, the general hospital here. And the concept is to bring school students, most of them aged about 14 to 16 years of age, into the hospital to see some of the research that we do, to meet some young doctors and scientists, and to learn about the kind of questions we're asking about how their behaviour and their lifestyle at this time in their lives can affect their later health. So we're not preaching at them and telling them what they should do and what they shouldn't do, but trying to inspire them with science so that they, when they're better informed, can make some decisions about their lifestyle for themselves. It's incredibly important for them as they grow into adulthood uh, and become parents and very important too for any children they may have in the future. What we're not doing is concentrating on primary school education and we're going to end up with people at 11 who've given up science. Early Life Lab aims to help young children in primary schools to understand the science behind the health messages that they hear all the time in a really hands-on way so to do it all through what we would call scientific inquiry. What we want to look at is children's attainment in science and also children's health literacy. The learning can be incredibly powerful and they can actually become real agents of change. Connections with the university departments when you're at school are very useful. Well, we were really pleased to open up the institute to A-level students from across Dorset and Hampshire. The students got hands-on experience in the laboratories, they got to talk to scientists about the work we do at the institute. And we spent time with the students helping them to come up with questions for the panel at the Building Superhumans Question Time event that we ran last year. You expose people to complex ideas at an early age. We understand that there aren't simple answers to complex questions. And it's a very great pleasure to welcome you all here to uh, University Hospital Southampton to talk about building superhumans. I'm going to start, if I may, with the first question, which comes from uh, Anna Stedman. Um, what are the panel's views on what a superhuman is? diet but how does the panel think we determine what healthy means for an individual person? Should everyone have their genome mapped so that we can give interventions for diseases more earlier? Oh gosh. Um, I... <laughs> how does the panel think we draw the line between genetic modifications which improve health and those that give other perceived beneficial traits? Does the panel think that we are dehumanising the process of having children by insisting on perfectly healthy mothers and fathers? be able to become a parent. <laughs> well, I don't know who to start with here. Uh, so we're channeling younger people to learn more and more about this and less. Science is a process, and the way we know things, that is what science does. It isn't necessarily what we know. Um, have they answered your question? Um, yes. <laughs> you can throw it at them if you want. Okay. All right. I think that really events like this are as, as, as good for the university as they are for the people coming. When you have these contacts with schools, you start to rethink your own position as an academic. <laughs>